I'm Ross Atkins, welcome to Outside Source. Boris Johnson has apologised to Parliament after being fined for breaking Covid rules. It did not occur to me then or subsequently that a gathering in the Cabinet room just before a vital meeting on Covid strategy could amount to a breach of the rules. Russia begins its attacks in eastern Ukraine in a new offensive. It claims to have struck 1,200 military targets. Ukraine's President Zelensky has this message. No matter how many of the Russian troops are driven there, we will be fighting. We will defend ourselves. The International Monetary Fund is warning that the war in Ukraine will severely impact the global economy and produce a food security crisis. We'll hear about that. And Johnny Depp is due to testify in a defamation trial between him and his former wife, Amber Heard. When that begins, we will listen in. Well, we're going to start the hour here in the UK because Prime Minister Boris Johnson has addressed Parliament and addressed his fine for breaking Covid lockdown rules. Here's some of what Mr Johnson said. But now it seems that very few areas within the city remain outside of Russia's control. So a key moment in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. If you want updates on that, just behind me here in the BBC newsroom, my colleagues updating our live page all the time. You can find that at bbc.com slash news. I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. I'm Ros Atkins, welcome back to Outside Source. Boris Johnson's been in the House of Commons and has apologised for that fine for breaking Covid rules. It did not occur to me then or subsequently that a gathering in the Cabinet room just before a vital meeting on Covid strategy could amount to a breach of the rules. Russia has begun its attacks on eastern Ukraine and claims they've struck 1,200 military targets. Ukraine's president has this message. No matter how many of the Russian troops are driven there, we will be fighting. We will defend ourselves. The International Monetary Fund is warning the war in Ukraine will severely impact the global economy and produce a food security crisis. And Johnny Depp is testifying in the defamation trial that he commenced between him and his former wife, Amber Heard. Well, let's turn back to the war in Ukraine. Russia has launched a major offensive in the east of the country, particularly focused on the Donbass region. We know Ukrainian forces have been fighting Russia-backed separatists there for the past eight years. And we know that Mariupol in the south has been under attack from Russian forces for weeks. Uh, an updated story on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial in Virginia on the BBC News website. Most of the stories, almost all the stories we cover on Outside Source, you can also get covered online from BBC News. Also remember, if you want further analysis from me and the Outside Source team, a good place to find it is via my Twitter account. You can follow me at BBC Ros Atkins. Whenever we post one of our explainer videos, they go onto the BBC News website, but they also go onto my Twitter account if you prefer to pick them up there. That is it for this edition of Outside Source. Thank you very much indeed for watching. We'll of course continue to bring you the very latest on Boris Johnson's apology in the House of Commons and the new Russian offensive in the east of Ukraine. Bye bye. I'm Ros Atkins, welcome to Outside Source. Russia has begun a new offensive in eastern Ukraine and claims it struck 1,200 military targets. Ukraine's president has this message. 
No matter how many of the Russian troops are driven there, we will be fighting. We will defend ourselves. Boris Johnson has apologised to Parliament after that fine for breaking Covid rules. It did not occur to me then or subsequently that a gathering in the Cabinet room just before a vital meeting on Covid strategy could amount to a breach of the rules. And the actor Johnny Depp is testifying in the defamation trial that he instigated between him and his former wife Amber Heard. Well, for weeks, Russia has been warning it plans to focus on the east of Ukraine, and now that appears to be happening. Ukraine claims a major new offensive has begun in the Donbass region. First of all, here's President Zelensky. Thanks to David for that. There's much more background on that trial on the BBC News website and app. You can find that at bbc.com slash news. We'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello. Some quite big contrasts in the weather between northern and southern Europe at the moment.